Oh, what are you guys doing here? What? Hold on. How'd you guys? Hold on, hold on. What is up, YouTube? Everyone, it is now Sunday night. This is the first time in a long time where I did not vlog an entire day. It's kind of crazy, but. Anyway, yes, I'm here in a hotel right now, um, and the reason that I'm in a hotel right now is because there are just a lot of things that I need to work on. But because I have roommates at home, I can't really focus on my house. There's just so many things I need to get done, and so, as you guys know, I went out of the country a couple of weeks ago, built up a bunch of rewards, and because of that, I was able to use my rewards to get a hotel for two nights free. So I'm here at the hotel all by myself. But let me show you, actually, went to Guitar Center today and actually bought some stuff. If you guys do not know, I used to write music and so this is what I got. What I bought, so I got the new NT1 complete recording kit. Comes with a mic, pop filter, yeah, that. I bought a audio box, Phantom Power. What does this do? It connects to that, my MacBook. One of the reasons that I wanted to come to a hotel all by myself is because you know, I wanted to write a couple songs. Um, I used to write music a long time ago, and the reason that I wrote music was because it was a way for me to kind of vent and to get out my thoughts and just, I, I, it's easier for me to think when I'm writing or writing music. My name is Chris, 8538. Yeah, same thing. The white flag address or the back address. All right, YouTube, so I'm on the phone right now with the internet service. I'm actually working technically from home right now because um, <coughs> I have a really bad cough right now. I, don't, I, I'm, I think I'm contagious because I got my roommate sick already and I don't want to get anyone at work sick. I might as well show you my room real quick. So let's do this. All right, phone. I'll put you down, I'll be back. So this is the hotel room right now, so I got two beds right over here, let's focus on that. I got a bed back over there, another one over here. I got my clothes hanging right over here. This camera, by the way, is extremely heavy. Um, and if you do not know, I used to write music a long time ago. I did a lot in high school, a little bit in college, and I was starting to grow a lot, actually as a musician back then. But the reason I didn't continue with it is because it got extremely addicted to Counter-Strike and I kind of, I put more effort in Counter-Strike than writing music and that was over. I just want to do something they haven't done in a long time, something different. And so I bought this mic, you probably can't see it, it's right there. Now I bought a Rode NT1 microphone. This is the one right here. This microphone is amazing. It's extremely clear. Um, I already wrote a couple songs. I'll go ahead and write that down. Thank you so much. Finally, I have internet. I'm on here now. Time to get back to work. Yeah, and you know what, guys? Because I'm always vlogging in my car, and I'm always vlogging at work, or just when I'm out and about, I'm never really just like still. You know, here's a transition. I'm just gonna hide. Bye, guys. Bye, I gotta get to work. Bye, bye, bye. Okay. <laughs> Peace. I don't know if you guys can hear me clearly, I actually bought like a... All right, what's up YouTube? It's good to see everyone. Um, I know, I know, okay. I did not really vlog at all since you last saw me at the hotel. For those who are asking, I kind of took like a day vacation. I just wanted to get away from everyone, even vlogging, even YouTube. And so that's why I just did a live video on Tuesday and that was it. Um, I didn't vlog at all and it's already 12 p.m. on a Wednesday, you know, and I'm only talking to you guys now. I'm back here at the office, not working remotely. I mean, you guys already know, it's been tough. And I think I'm gonna talk about what it is I've been going through in my next video. Um, but what else I wanna be honest is that I was honestly considering maybe I should quit doing YouTube. It just it could be so overwhelming because you have to be so consistent on YouTube and I love doing it I really do but in regards to like doing good in YouTube or becoming a better programmer Which one's more important and becoming a programmer the best programmer out there Which is what I love doing which is my passion is obviously more important But more than even being a better programmer you just, is it just God or just like being a programmer and God's even more important and 
Uh, I feel like just doing YouTube so much. I still have to study code and I'm still doing the boot camp and working full time and being healthy and working out and all these things. It could be kind of overwhelming with my crazy schedule. But I told myself, to be honest, doing YouTube is like my way to vent. It's my way to like express my feelings because I don't have a lot of people that I can go to. I don't, it's for, I'm the kind of person where it's not really easy to always trust someone. And so where else can I go to really vent and really express my, my emotions and my thoughts and what I love and my passion? Not just that, where else can I go to really express my creativity and use my creative mind and creating very interesting edits and vlogs? That's, I do that here. As much as I love programming and being a web developer and doing front end development, there's nothing more fun than even just editing videos and creating things with a camera because you can always be creative. When it comes to YouTube, thousands of people see my videos and thousands of people leave comments on them. And like, when you create a website, you don't really see comments of people who like it other than from your manager. You know what I mean? So anyway, it's good to be back. Hope you guys like today's video. Let's start the editing. There was a time when I was lonely I was trying hard to get by Taking day by day But baby, then you came along I know I never felt that strong Nothing's gonna hold us down So I just got out of the gym right now. Um, I'm here in front of Crunch Fitness now. I actually have a phone call with this one guy. He actually lives in LA. He actually has a pretty good job. Uh, he gets paid fairly well. He got the raise. He's being really taken care of by his boss. Um, and he asked me a really tough question, and I think this is a tough question. What he asked was, should I leave my actual job where it's secure and I'm paid well and the boss takes care of me and I have health insurance and pursue the job of my dreams, which is to be a programmer? And I think it's a very difficult dilemma to be in because now you have a family. And so we're going to actually do a call on FaceTime right now um, and we'll talk to you. What's up, man? Can you hear me? Hey, uh, yeah. I've seen you comment on so many videos and even on Twitter and stuff. So like, thanks for the support, man. You've been, you've been studying code for like two or three years already? Yes, uh, it's been on and off. Yeah. Um, but yeah, but I still feel very beginner <laughs> It's okay. I, I still feel like that right now too, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, how, how can I help you out, dude? I have a job that I don't really like that much. I mean, my background is technical and now I'm not in a technical job. Yeah, yeah. I keep looking over where the grass is greener <laughs> over into uh, development. That's something I've been interested in, you know, on and off for the past two, three years. Do you think that would be enough for me to get in at a, a semi-beginner level? If I don't drop in uh, how much I make per year, that would be the best. I don't know how realistic that yeah, yeah. is. Well, how? Why do you want to become a developer? Like, why? Why is it that you want to learn code? I'll tell you this. Like, when I vlog and I put stuff on YouTube, it's not my entire life. You know, I only vlog yeah. like whatever seems fun. And literally, the life of developers, you're literally always learning. Yeah, so, just yeah. genuinely, then, like, why do you want to become a programmer? Yeah, um, I've always been a lifelong learner. I love learning new things. Biggest thing I love doing is solving yeah. problems for people. A huge part of the way that my mind thinks, the way that I'm geared. A lot of people, they always ask Chris, saying, will programming still be in demand in the future? And the answer is yes. For example, if you're a programmer when like Apple just started booming and Microsoft, people probably thought technology only be popular for so long, but since then we have what, Snapchat now, there's new apps coming out, there's like Postmates now, like what the heck, yeah. <laughs> you know? And they all need programmers. So now is still the best time for you to get into it, you know? But now I, I got to be honest though, because to be honest, uh, your first job as developer, I would assume that your first job as a junior developer would probably be 50 to 55k a year. What? What? Why? Why don't you like your job though? You get paid pretty well. Yeah, yeah it's it's no, it's not about the money. Like the money is nice, yeah. obviously, but it's just that it's not I, something you want to do for the rest of your life, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. 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 No. I, yeah. I mean, well, then if I were you, I would go for it. I think you're on the right path right now. Yeah. Um, I'll send you a link to my portfolio website. It's not even live. It's hidden so no one sees it. Uh, what I would suggest is that yes, you make a website. One way to help you get a job 
is to learn Angular. It's like, I see it everywhere. Almost every other job, at least as a front-end developer or a web developer, um, you need to know Angular. That, that's just considered a modern day front-end developer. Before, modern day front-end developer was just HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and jQuery. This was only like a year and a half ago. So as you can see, technology is like changing like crazy, <laughs> right? But yeah, that's, that's what I would do. I think you could do it. So you had a likable personality. But all right, man, if you need anything else, man, just hit me up and uh, I'll be more than happy to help you out, all right, bro? All right, thanks, man. All right, man, have a good day. Bye. All right, guys, what's up, everyone? So um, I just got off the phone with someone. I'll give him a nickname of, uh, he was in a very difficult, kind of like a sticky situation. Just, you know, just to get that little push to push him to the right direction. And he said, number one, he said why he wants to pro be a programmer. What he said was that he gets paid fairly well at his job and he's taken care of, but he said he can't imagine him being at his job the rest of his life, doing what he does. This field's really competitive. And just to get a job, you know, you have to find a way around it. You have to put an effort to learn the languages you need to learn. But nowadays, because of these frameworks that are like popping up out of nowhere, these frameworks that are <clears throat> really in demand, Angular, React, and you just have to put a lot more effort now than before, but that shouldn't discourage you. This is something you really want to do. If you really want your life to change, then you would put that extra effort, you would sacrifice games, you would sacrifice leisure, just for a couple years to change your life forever. Man, it's like it's incomparable. Hustle for like three years and change your life forever or watch TV and Hulu or Netflix and game every single day when you can use that time to learn and code and live the life that you're not happy with forever. <laughs> it's, it's plain and simple. But it also depends on how much you really want it to. Guys, if you want it, now is the time. Technology is only gonna grow. The demand is only gonna grow. The need is going to be there. Like we have cars that could drive itself now. You know, airline companies are wondering if they should replace their pilots with actual just AI, like computers, to drive their planes from one destination to another now. Like, it's crazy. But why are they able to do that? It's because of us. Because of what we can build. Now is the time to learn code. We have no excuse. It's either you want it or, you know, you're just going to be lazy. To end it off with this, with this vlog, and I think, you know, if you want it, you'll do something about it. You know, don't let your situation bring you down, but use that situation and use that to push you to overcome like it, I to put yourself in a better situation, you know? Up, but, um, but all right, guys, so I'm going to end the vlog here. So the way for me Thank you for guys for watching. There, Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, this is Chris Sean. This is the life of a web developer. Check this out. And I'm out. Peace. Yeah, lifeless is what I'm feeling. Yes, I'll keep fighting. Yeah, I might get here, won't give up as long as I'm alive. And I'll keep working, I believe it as long as I keep trying. Are you hurting? Tell me, am I the only one that's yeah. dying? Am I the only one that has dreams of us together? Uh. Reminiscing what it means, I hug you forever. Yeah. Our late night cuddles hit you, vent when you need me. I was always there to listen and still you.